Second night of judicial corruption. Let's go back to 1995. Judge is a probate judge. Has a request to close an estate. I, an attorney for two sets of clients. First set were a beneficiary and a creditor of that estate who ultimately collected maybe 50 cents on the dollar, 75 cents on the dollar, and who collected a lot of time uh, spent on getting to that point where they got a decent offer. They got their offer and the case was seemingly closed except that they weren't happy and they rounded up, I suppose, two more clients, one a beneficiary, one a creditor, who likewise came to me and indicated they wanted to collect from the estate and they did not think they would without counsel. And in fact, they were the only ones, my sets of clients, that got paid. The rest went to attorney's fees. So they got paid and they settled. Then, without anybody left represented by counsel, the other 20 or 30 creditors and 10 to 15 beneficiaries got nothing. They didn't attempt to intervene in the proceedings at all. Uh, the appropriate um, motion, petition for discharge was made, and there didn't seem to be anybody there to complain about the excessive attorney's fees or what was being done other than myself. I did. I had an affidavit from the client. I also had transcripts of a hearing where the attorney for the personal representative indicated this law firm in Connecticut was not associated with the estate whatsoever and was independent. It was necessary that they be independent at that hearing and that they were not representing the estate whatsoever. But as part of her petition for discharge, she indicated she intended to have about the same amount paid to both firms, hers, the local firm, and this firm in Connecticut. They each got over 50000 using up all the money that was left. And the Connecticut firm had also been paid in Massachusetts for the uh, state administration there. And there was no indication whatsoever of any services rendered to the estate in Florida or why it should be drained of all its funds over the various bills, including doctors, and during the man's last illness. So I filed an affidavit myself indicating where, or at least a sworn pleading, uh, verified pleading, indicating where the transcripts were, what line it was on, they made the representations, and that an, a firm that was not representing the estate could not be paid as attorneys for the estate. Uh, the matter got set for hearing, and the judge ultimately was told several different ways why, without any sworn indication of services to the estate, and with the transcript of the representation made by the lawyer, with the fact that I was prepared to testify that the fee paid to the local firm was excessive, and that there was no knowledge on my part of any fee due to the Connecticut firm, that uh, absent some additional information that ha I have not seen, that there's no way that these funds should be paid out and that the other creditors should be um, basically left with no funds whatsoever paid to them. The judge attempted to get me to post bond to do this, and I pointed out to him that there was no basis whatsoever to pay the fees absent some kind of evidence, at least a sworn statement by the firm as to how they ran up a fifty to eight thousand dollar bill or fifty two thousand dollar bill were the two bills, I think, thereabouts. Judge said he took it under advisement. He indicated he did not know why I was there, but as I well knew he had every right to claim he didn't know what was going on unless I had alerted him. I alerted him. He signed the order two weeks later, giving fees of an equal amount to a firm who 
he had been told in court, in open court, by an officer of the court, had done nothing for the estate, he gave him as much as the one, almost as much as the one, that was supposedly a good estate counsel, which it wasn't, but they both got the same basic number of 50 plus thousand, and the other creditors got paid nothing. And my beneficiary that got paid, one would have to ask, why did a beneficiary get paid over creditors? How could those lawyers close an estate using up all the funds, having paid the beneficiary and not paid the creditors that stood before him in line? Creditors come first, not beneficiaries, but they paid him off so that they could do their dirty deed. Was the judge ethical? Read the Florida statutes, and I think you'll only have one conclusion. This is corruption. Some of it's criminal. Some of it's just unethical. All of it should require impeachment of the judges involved. But I tried that. That's another story on another night of corruption. Say something. You're an American. Post something. Get an anonymous address and post something. If you're afraid that the FBI will come to your door, I assure you they won't come to mine I want them there. They certainly ain't going to come to yours just because you agree with me. Fight for America. Be strong. Say something. Don't just simply sit there and grovel.